people build amazing ships to explore the oceans. But the ocean already had its own smart ships. I wonder which one is superior. How do these smart ships find their way? Even in total darkness, they don't see with their eyes. They see with sounds. Their bodies are specially designed to glide through the water fast and smoothly, just like an arrow. Moreover, each one has its own unique name, and they constantly communicate with each other. It is El Habir, the all-aware, who makes them speak. To build a submarine, you need hundreds of engineers, thousands of parts, and a giant factory. But a dolphin grows from just a single cell. It builds itself, and it even repairs itself. A submarine's radar needs complicated screens and a captain to use it. But the dolphin uses its amazing system perfectly, right from the moment it's born, without any effort. While a pile of iron cannot accidentally turn into a ship, can this living ship, which is much more amazing, come into being by accident? For a dolphin to live, it needs water, and for water to exist, it needs precise laws. It needs fish for food, and for the fish to live, they need a whole different system. Everything is connected. So the one who made the dolphin must be the same one who made the ocean and its food. He is the all-powerful. Its beautiful and fluid form introduces us to the artist, El Musavir, who gives it its most beautiful shape. That amazing sonar system is the seal of El Alim, who knows everything, and El Hakim, who does everything with wisdom. Seeing this amazing work of art and thinking about it is the best way to be thankful. Praise be to Allah. So, how should we protect this trust? Plastic waste and pollution are disrupting this perfect balance. Protecting them is the best way to say thank you to the Most Merciful, who gave us this blessing.